Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today I've got an absolutely ridiculous Admiral Schroeder game for you. Specifically in rank tier, this ship might just be overpowered straight up. What are you gonna do against this thing? It's got speed, it's got a hydro, it's got a ton of secondaries, and of course, it's really well armored. So if you send this thing into a camp like we're about to, you become a one ship wrecking ball. It's just ridiculous what this thing is capable of. And honestly, I'm a little sad I haven't been playing it sooner since I've been really enjoying tier nine ranked. Don't have to deal with carriers or subs. For the most part, there are the hybrids, unfortunately. But for the most part, you are able to brawl it out. And just look at us here. <laughs> They're stuck in our hydro. We got our secondaries going after them. The only thing we really don't have here is torpedoes on a Schroeder. That's about it. This ship is absolutely insane in a brawl and very, very difficult to take out. These secondaries do have slightly improved accuracy. Of course, you don't get any sort of upgrades for them on your commander, uh, not like a battleship would. We don't have manual secondaries, unfortunately, but they would be ridiculous if you had that option. No torps does mean we have to be a little careful about destroyers rushing us, as well as battleships. Uh, even though we are pretty tanky, don't exactly want to go broadside on to an Alsace, so we're going to try and turn out here really quick. And we do get a decent hit in on this buffalo. And I'm going to sector my secondaries, or focus my secondaries, on the Kitakaze. Even though we don't have manual secondaries, they will focus whatever target you do select. So very important here, we do take out the Kitakaze here with those secondaries at closer ranges, pretty devastating against those DDs. Especially now that they've changed the secondary aiming uh, formula to actually lead destroyers properly. And then we absolutely smash the poor buffalo, getting ourselves a dev strike there in on that guy and nearly getting ourselves a double strike there too, considering we got the uh, Kitakaze pretty soon as well. Now we just have an Alsace to deal with and our team is easily going to be winning this game. So you can see just how impactful a Schroeder can be. It's not just the tankiness and the secondaries really that gets this thing. It's the speed, this speed boost, man. It's such a fast cruiser. It can flank incredibly quickly. It can obviously get into the cap circles nearly as quick as the enemy destroyers can. You know how much I've been enjoying the Mogador at tier nine. That's one of the things that I'm really looking for in a ship in rank. You wanna be impacting the battle as quickly and early as we possibly can. And that's why Mogador is so good. We get to hopefully remove an enemy destroyer right off the bat and get ourselves a cap lead. Schroeder's gonna do similar things, not quite the same way, um, but we do get to bully our way into some of these cap circles. And you don't have to worry about torps nearly as much thanks to the amazing German Hydro. These secondaries do pen 32 millimeters and that's why they're gonna be so good here against this Alsace. They're absolutely tearing this guy up. And so, within about three minutes of us actually getting into an engagement here, we've pretty much massacred their entire team. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. If you do have yourself a Schroeder, give it a go in Ranked. Uh, it's very, very, very enjoyable. I'm not sure how well it's going to go in random battles, but these Ranked game modes certainly do promote a little more brawling ability. And hopefully our secondaries can take them out here. And they do. That gets us our third close quarters expert <laughs> and uh yeah secondary is really coming in clutch there when we are at closer ranges and i did really fully invest in them we'll take a look at the build here in just a second but an absolutely ridiculous game here in silver ranked and i do want to show you this detailed report real quick just so you can see the breakdown of damage yeah our secondaries if you combine the fires because we were only shooting ap basically equaled our main guns <laughs> <laughs> pretty much 50-50 split, which is pretty strong. For the build that I was running here in ranked on the Schroeder, it was a full secondary build. I really wanted to go all in on that. So on the commander here, we're going to take outnumbered, which is a pretty good skill if we're going to full send it in, maybe even on the weak flank. Notice we were pretty much all on our own in this game, and we still made it out pretty well. Top grade gunner does give us secondary battery reload, which is pretty nice. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have any sort of manual secondaries. Everything else here really going towards survivability and making use of this brawling ship as much as we can. Concealment here is going to be very useful. 10.2 detect uh, alongside the secondary range here of 10 kilometers means 
yeah, <laughs> you're pretty much the same as the German Battlecruiser line, where your secondary range matches your detect range. And you guys know exactly how powerful that is. On the upgrades, yep, went full secondaries for this one. It's probably still better to invest in your main guns a little bit more, but for this one, I just went full secondaries because I just wanted to send it in with this ridiculous engine boost. It is a 15% engine boost uh, combined with a pretty decent base speed of 34 knots. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really fast ship running at you with a lot of damage output. Do not underestimate this thing uh, in ranked. It is pretty scary. Armor-wise, yep, looks like a German battlecruiser. Uh, so the 27 mil bow and stern. Got pretty lucky to face an Alsace, which can't actually overmatch 27 millimeters. One of the few ships that can't at this tier. So that really made us a little bit extra tanky. We did take some pretty decent sized hits when kiting though. Something to keep in mind. There's some flat sections here that you can take some decent hits into. Where if you're pushing closer to bow in, uh, that's not as much of an option. But again, you do have a lot of overmatched uh, armor at the front here. But I think that's going to about do it for today's video. I'm not going to drag this one out too long. Can do a short video once in a while here and there. It is a Friday after a while. May as well have a nice chill day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this extremely fast brawl. It was like three minutes or something like that to get that much damage and just totally wipe out the enemy team. Uh, kind of ridiculous. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.